Okay, this video is for all you Windows 7 aficionados who love the menu the way it was. But because Windows 7 is hitting end of life, you're being forced to upgrade to Windows 10. So what happens to your menu? Now there's several programs out there that will imitate the Windows 7 interface that you can configure and tweak and everything to get looking somewhat like that. Uh, but the problem becomes, how does it stay updated when Windows 10 changes? But now you can configure the Windows 10 menu they have that same minimalist look that you love. Now I know there's a lot of users out there who like the polished style of Windows 7 versus the flat style of Windows 10. You're not going to get that with this, but at least the functionalities are going to appear similar. So let's take a look at how you can do that using the built-in configuration settings in Windows 10. So if we look at the old Windows 7 interface where it has the system functions over here, Compared to this area over here in Windows 10, you'll see that they basically do the same thing. So let's see how we can make it look like that. If we go to the Settings app and we type in uh, Start, uh, we'll go back to here where it says, OK, here's all the things that are on the Start menu. And you can go in here at the bottom and say, click on which folders appear. I want to turn on all these folders on pictures, documents, and that kind of thing. So then after we do that, let's uh, close this down and we'll go back to the uh, menu. You see that in Windows 10, we now have in the hidden system menu. We have all the documents and all that. All the same things there in Windows 7 are now in Windows 10. So now that we've done that, what about those pesky tiles, those ones that uh, we don't want to have over there on the right? There's no easy way to do those. We just have to go to each one and click on it and say unpin from start menu and go ahead and get rid of all of them. Now, eventually you'll end up with a blank screen like this. Now because you've got them all rid of them all and everything you can simply drag the corners the sides and the top of the start menu to the size you want till all you have left is a list of applications and your hidden system menu. So now we can see that it basically match this list of programs here and this list of programs here are the same functionality. Now there's a couple of differences. One is that on Windows 7 you could pin programs right to the start menu and you can arrange them in any order you want. But that's what you gave up when you got rid of the tiles. The purpose of the tiles is you can arrange programs where you want them in a familiar place and you can just click on them. Conversely, Windows 10 has the ability to find all programs installed very easily by using the collapsible interface. Just click on the first letter to find that program. In Windows 10, you access the administrative tools by right-clicking on the Start Menu button, just like you did in Windows 7 when you clicked on the administration tools there in the menu. And lastly, both programs are able to use a search box, whether it's in Windows 7 here or Windows 10 here, to find a particular program. You simply start typing and it finds the program, no matter what it is, and uh, you can go ahead and launch it. So there you have it. You can sort of make Windows 10 look like Windows 7 without any additional programs. You can get those that make it look almost exactly like Windows 7, but you don't need that. Plus, it retains compatibility with future upgrades of Windows 10. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.